video, I'm going to be showing y'all lyrics where they were so bad, so ridiculous, or so cringy that when I heard them for the first time, I had to pause the song or turn it off completely because I just went, okay, this is trash. I don't even know if I want to hear the rest of this. Pretty simple. Let's get it. This is quite a few of them. Oh, yeah. I'm Playboy. I'm not Hugh Hefner. Bunnies in my mansion, and it ain't even Esther. Any video about bad or ridiculous lyrics, it's super easy to target so And I remember that, and I, I was confused as hell. Or maybe I didn't even try to register that he was saying Easter. What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? Sure, what up? Sure, what rocks? And this is in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen of the video that you feel me. Uh, rap lyrics that made me turn off the song by Amiri. I believe this was sent to us in the Discord, if I'm not mistaken. Was, was it sent to us in it? Uh, I'm not sure. I can, easy, I can easily check right now, man. I think they it sent was. so much, man. It, it probably was. Nine times yeah, out of ten, huh? it was. But, but yeah. Um. So apparently, these are some rap lyrics hmm. that was so cringe. <laughs> it made you just want to say, you know what? <laughs> this is enough of this song. So we're gonna get into this one right now, man. Make sure y'all remember the likes. <laughs> Should subscribe. be a good one, man. I know a lot of lyrics with Soldier mm -hmm. Boy being the kind of the thumbnail ish. Uh, he said quite a few things that when you look back at it, you be like, huh? The Soldier yeah. Boy. Yeah, yeah, nah, definitely. He's he's one of those uh, artists that have said a plethora of, um, and it's not just him. Questionable. Uh, <laughs> questionable bars questionable lyrics and like you said it's not just him there's plenty of other artists so that just all in her champagne <laughs> you didn't even know it just felt like I took the home i enjoyed that she why rick ross i feel like that song what? make you an accessory if you keep listening to it so you just gotta like what are you like what are you doing rick ross and that's a cold song but when that bar came out people were like whoa wait whoa whoa <laughs> Well, we're gonna get into it. <laughs> Should be a good one. All right, let's go. <laughs> this video, I'm going to be showing y'all lyrics where they were so bad, so ridiculous, or so cringy that when I heard them for the first time, I had to pause the song or turn it <laughs> off completely because I just went, okay, this is trash. I don't even know if I want to hear the rest of this. <laughs> Pretty simple. Let's get it. This is quite a few of them. Oh, yeah, for Playboy. I'm not Hugh Hefner. Bunnies in my mansion, and it ain't even Esther. Any video about bad or ridiculous lyrics, it's super easy to target soldiers. And I remember that, and I, I was confused as hell. Or maybe I didn't even try to register that he was saying Easter. You probably weren't trying to register. I don't think I was trying to register. <laughs> that's mighty wild. <laughs> hmm. Make you he sit just back said Esther. He didn't even try to. He didn't, bro. He just said Esther. What is Esther? I don't know, but that's what he said. Oh, your boy. He's a legend and all, but it's so easy to make fun of this man's music. Fact. One of the times where it's easy to make fun of him is Esther. when Soldier tries to be lyrical. For those of you that remember that infamous Soldier Boy and DJ Vlad interview, the pow, 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 pow one, Soldier said in that video that there was a point in his career where he tried to be lyrical, actually writing his songs and trying to come up with bars and such. But after doing that for a short period, he realized that he didn't like doing that style of rap. Uh, when, at one point, I got the song called Two Milli. I got on my lyrical shit, and I got a song called Kill Bill, and I got a song called like Best Rapper or some shit. You can YouTube it. You create videos, and you do it well. Oh, oh man. Them? That's, uh... <laughs> Say goodbye to guesswork. And that Soldier Boy and his lyrical shit is... That sounds yeah, not right. appealing. Yeah. Third song he mentioned, Best Rapper, is actually the song, the best, that I'm showing y'all in this entry. Two Milli is actually That's very, wild. very, very bad. I can go on all day about the weak bars in that track. But the reason why Soulja stopped trying to make lyrical tracks is because he said that style of rap was lame for him. Even though his fans were saying, oh, this is hard, you got bars, bro. He said rapping like that, trying to write the best rhymes and have all these metaphors, it was just lame. And that shit was lame. You know what I'm saying? So Wait, being lyrical was lame? Yeah, that shit was For lame. It's like, man, what happened My fans liked it, though. They was like, damn, he hard. Oh, he spitting old bars. Ooh, flames and shit. But that shit was lame. 
first of all, any of these alleged fans that was telling him he had bars, every last one of y'all should be ashamed of y'all still. Because these lyrical tracks are awful. The first time I heard the best, I had to turn it off after some point. The track is just him saying he's the best rapper, anybody out here touching me, yada yada. This song is three and a half minutes. I heard one line that was so whack about a minute into it, and I went, oh yeah, th- okay, this is awful. And I turned it off. Right before he said the line that made me turn it off, there were some lines before that that was bad. Like where he said, sumo money, I got heavy paper. Press me is going down like an elevator. And I know some of y'all watching this video are going, oh yeah, that's hard, that's hard. Y'all are the fans that Soldier was talking about that was supporting him. But... I couldn't take it anymore when this man said, <laughs> nigga, I don't play, boy. I'm not <laughs> you, Hefner. Hefner bro. Bunny's in my mansion, and it ain't yeah, even Esther. Esther. And if y'all are listening, yes, y'all <clears throat> caught that. Soldier pronounced Easter <clears throat> as Esther, Esther so that it can rhyme with Hugh rhyme. Hefner. Because <sighs> Playboy Magazine, Playboy Mansion, the Bunnies. girls in the mansion are called Bunnies. Bunnies is like the animal for Easter. He thought that was so cool. No, but bro. him saying Easter like Esther no, made this bro. such a reach to me. <laughs> what also made it worse is that he laughed after he said it. This nigga went, ah. Bunnies in my mansion, and it ain't even Esther. <laughs> even like if he you've never killed it, bro. Like that's that laugh. Like, bro, I just murdered that last bar. Let me let that breathe. Somebody in the studio. Whoever was in the studio, they didn't say a damn thing, bro. Yeah, they was getting their money, bro. Yeah, they was getting their bag. Yeah, do it again. Nah. Do it again. Put, I, I just put a laugh on the end of that, man. Yeah, come on. No, that's that's just... Need Never seen friends. this interview or the clip that I showed you. You can just tell the issue with this. This is the type of song where, like, almost every line in it, he's trying to say some creative punchline, mm-hmm. and a lot of them do not hit at all. His delivery is super cheesy, and he's trying to look so hard in a music video. Instructional videos on YouTube so I can teach you how to do what I do. Haters want to knock me, but I'm not a damn door. Got a million dollars cash laid across this damn floor. Word around town, they got money on my head. Bitch, I pull that chopper and they scramble like eggs. (laughs) This this song is terrible, yo. And for me, that Hefner Esther line is the worst line in the entire song. It's a good thing King Soldier gave up trying to spit bars because that was not his thing. How about the burp of the skirt? Ooh, chain. Hey, what? Wait, wait, wait a minute. No. We had to ask T.I. what happened, man. What? People can't even call him Tip no more because it's there'll probably be a pause every time they say it in this generation. That's a real bar. Maybe we need to hit a bar before it. Like, I don't know. It don't. Cause maybe he's referring it to a chick. But he says, "Yeah, I like it like that." Like that, cause she take it in the face, probably. <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe there's always context. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about the burp of the skirt? Ooh, chain. Now, as an avid Ti fan, <laughs> "Get Loose" is not only a bottom tier track from his third album, "Urban Legend." This is like bottom tier in this man's catalog, period. Tip has many songs that are mm-hmm. better than this one. This track is bottom three on Urban Legend, along with Chillin' With My Bitch and Stand Up. Get Loose is just a party <laughs> song for the women, you know, telling them to bust it wild open, come Pretty chill much. with a player like me, mm-hmm. that kind of song. And he recruited Nelly for the track, and you know Mr. Tip Drill be waiting to make a song for the freaks. The hook is, hey, shout it, bust it open for me, let me see you get loose. If you really want to show me that you let me get loose, no gray goose if you don't get loose. Get about the coop if you won't get loose. Mm. So with this song clearly being for the girls that's trying to fuck for a buck, do something strange for a piece of change, and the ones <laughs> that's trying to holler for a dollar, this man T.I. in the me. middle of the first verse said, give the dick to her once, get her hooked like crack, take and come in the face. Yeah, I like it like that. When I first heard this, I went, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, like, you know I think he's referring to the chick. Yeah. But when you, when you actually just yeah. listening to it, 
you you instantly gonna be like, wait, what? When you say, yeah, <laughs> I like it like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's referring to the chick, but when we're just listening to it, just straight off, <laughs> before any type of context, sounds or wild. you, yeah, it sounds wild. So I get what he was saying, but it mm-hmm. it still it does wild. sound. Yeah, it comes off. Tip, you tripping? But in the context of the mm-hmm. verse, he was speaking about how he likes doing that to the women's faces. Yeah. Because right before this line, he was talking about how you better keep your woman tight next to you because the moment you turn your head, I can steal her from you. Mm. After he says this, it's when he says to come out on the face line. <laughs> it's the way it's worded. <laughs> Tick and come to the face. Yeah, I like it like that. The first time I heard this, I was like... <laughs> what nigga? <laughs> Tip had a similar line nowadays. where I had this reaction where he was a feature on the track called I Know You Ain't Gonna Act Like by the rapper Hardo. And this first verse on there, Tip went. Who the fuck you talking to? You know what, dog? Look, you better slow up, dog, because I air your ass out like a blow up, dog. I'll air your ass out like a blow up, dog. Uh, this, this must be how you guys down south be threatening people because this was a weird reference to make for a bar. People have definitely you, said that. Yeah. yeah, air you out, yeah. <laughs> but it's just, he added the ass part. <laughs> yeah, he's just a whole yeah. generation. <laughs> I can put you on like socks. Not put you on like my watch. Put you on a black. So if you've been watching my channel for a while now, you'll know that I have a hatred for currency. This nigga uh, sucks in my opinion. I said this in my hey. Am I Sleeping on ASAP Rocky video. <laughs> that- I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> So I have a hatred for currency. I thought I was the only one that <laughs> just couldn't rock with currency. I, I tried to get with currency, and I, I don't know if people might kill me, but mm-hmm. currency just don't do it. Like, he just don't do it. <laughs> like, people used to be like, bro, currency hard, he hard, he hard. You know, I would, and I gave him chance after chance. Fam. Yeah, was, yeah. It's like, I think you just got to be high to listen to his music. I think that's the, I think that's the um his his crowd of people is like yeah a lot of people like to 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 turn up and, and mm-hmm. listen to currency and I think it works for that mood but yeah I just think <laughs> currency music man. I think currency oh, hey. is a really bad rapper <laughs> and ever Wait, since say? this nigga sucks in my opinion bad rapper I actually don't like. I don't think currency is a bad rapper whatsoever. Yeah, it's, I just like disrespecting him because it's fascinating to see how many people run to his rescue and defend him when they hear <laughs> some currency. And I don't think he's amazing like y'all do, but he's a cool chill rapper. He's actually impressed how much love y'all be showing him. Yeah, bro. Currency <laughs> got a crazy, mm-hmm. you know, little following. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just personally, just is, his music is just not for me. And hey, man, that's a personal, uh, personal thing, Have you listened man. to a lot of his uh, And tracks? ever since I... Nah, not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in the same camp, but it's not bad, but I won't just be rushing out to listen to currency. I've tried it. So like, that's rush. cool. I don't walk. I don't take my time. I just it's not for me, that's, man. Yeah. Say that in that video, I be having a gang of niggas in my comments like, man, this currency slander needs to stop. Spitter is better <laughs> than your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Jet life is always going to be legendary. He been in the game way too long for you to be on this weak ass YouTube channel disrespecting him like that. <laughs> Them same niggas nah, be finding niggas my be worst real. song, best song series and be like, man, you need to make one of these on currency, man. Damn near every song he's ever made is going to be in the fire tier. <laughs> I just had a nigga the other day comment on that very ASAP Rocky video talking about, I can respect having different opinions, but calling currency a bad rapper is ridiculous as hell. <laughs> Y'all keep trying to tell me that this currency slander is getting out of hand. Well, maybe if your mans was a better rapper, we wouldn't be going through this. <laughs> and that's what brings us to the song I'm On 3.0. Oh. I'm On is a series by Trader Truth where it's always a posse cut. Every part of this series has like nine or so feature artists on it, and they all rap about their come up, how they put on and represent for their city. Mm-hmm. How they made some money and helped out their friends and loved ones. And a lot of these rappers come with nice ass bars. When I remember time. this too. On this version, 3.0. I remember this. Trey yeah. himself did his thing. Yeah. T.I., Mr. I Gizzles, remember this song. A. East, T. Grizzly. Yeah. Five, nine, all of them killed it. Yep. And then Currency shows up. I and remember says, this. <laughs> I can put you on like socks. Put you on like my watch. I can put you on like socks. Put you on like my watch. The first time I heard this verse, I had to laugh at how basic this was compared to everybody else's. That's I just the heard these too. other people kill it, <laughs> and then this man get. I can put you on like, like socks. 
I could put you on like when other people like hardcore like when you got a Royce to five nine. Yeah, Trey, Ti. Yeah, like yeah, you got especially Royce, bro. You you know you got to lyrically come with it and yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Gets in here saying, "Yeah, I could put you on like a pair of socks. Put you on like my watch." His verse is only eight lines too. After this sock watch line, he doesn't say anything other than, "I could put you on like a fitted cap," and how he's driving a wraith with the roof cut off. This man's verse is weak as hell, and it's easily the worst verse on the song. <laughs> he easy had a better verse than this. That's verse. crazy. I, I feel on, like socks. I <laughs> remember this song, bro. That's yeah. crazy. Damn. Damn. Even G Easy be going tough, man. Damn, nigga G Easy even went crazy at all. <laughs> this nigga trash, bro. Man, what you mean he had the worst verse on the song? Nigga, you tripping. I, I don't know why I keep talking in that voice. That's what a currency fan sounds like. <laughs> I forgot all about that song, bro. What the hell is this ad, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. What the, the app, They have blocked the ad block on YouTube, y'all. So, so it got you. Yeah, it got me. I was me telling too, you, you act like you was. Uh, it was. I was holding off for as long as I could, man. But they said, nah, you nigga. To remove it, huh? <laughs> yep. They said, if you want to keep watching videos. <laughs> this is zero. actually not a song zero. I just recently found out about. No! It was the perfect song to go in this video. I'm sorry, I was bro, doing a live this? stream where I was reacting to all of the SXL ciphers, and I said how Kirko Bangs has one of my favorite ciphers ever. When I said that, someone in the chat told me that they don't care for Kurt Cole's regular music and that mm -hmm. they only rock with this song that he has with Zero. Now, I love Zero. The Mo City Don is my motherfucking mm -hmm. man. So yeah, the moment I heard true. Zero, I went, yeah. ah, Kurt Cole got a song with Zero? Right, hold on now. I'm going to have to check that out. Apparently, Kurt Cole and Zero got like three or four songs together. Buddy that was in the chat didn't tell me which song he was talking about. He just said that one song with Zero. So mm -hmm. I ended up listening to every one that I found. They have one with other Texas legends like Kyle Wild and Snoop Dogg called tough. Cup Up Town Down. And then oh, after yeah. that, I found the song My Time. And let me just say, Zero is not somebody that I'm trying to hear sexual lyrics from <laughs> at all. So the song My Time That's is Kurt rapping though, about, you think sexual about it. stuff. <laughs> like, you just. <laughs> You 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 jam zero when you find out one of your friends been fake or you mm. cut your crew off. <laughs> oh, you trying to be gangster, 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 G A N G S T A. For real, all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, nah, not yeah. the not the love songs. Yeah, nah. <laughs> can't can't the do whole, zero love. I'm not the type to be tied down. I'm a player. And telling this girl all the good things he gonna do to her pussy, all of that. Fine, I don't Dog. mind it when Kirko does it because I expect that music from That's him. His vibe. Hell, his most popular song, "Drinking My Cup," yeah. has lines about that. But for Zero, I'm used to him rapping about the South Side, like drinking lean, pulling up a cup, his times being broke, that kind of stuff. And yet, this man's entire verse on this song is about <laughs> busting nuts, talking about girls' periods. Telling his women to wear diapers when they come have sex with him. I was genuinely disgusted hearing this verse. I don't have an issue with sexual songs whatsoever, but this is not Zero's strong point. Yeah. And on this song, he's horrible at it, actually. His first lines are, you f with niggas that bust a nut and roll, but I'm the king of the ghetto and I came here to f your soul. What makes this even crazier is that he's trying to sing all of this, too. With yeah. his typical hoo -hoo voice. But I'm not feeling it. It didn't take long for him to say the worst line of his entire verse, and it was when he said, bring a diaper with you, because when you leave, you're going to be leaking all over your legs. And like I said, because he was singing it, it sounds like... I had to pause this song for a hot minute in full disgust. He, he could have said something more general. I got to like, go listen to this Bring a lot of towels, because we're going to make a mess. Like Something simple. But this sounded like he was for real trying to speak sexy in a, yeah, girl, I'm going to put it on you type of tone. <laughs> Bring a diaper with you because when you leave, you're going to be leaking bro. all over your legs. <laughs> no this woman is going to be attracted to this. You, you saying this is going to make yeah. them not want to come over there. Look at you Johnny scaring Dane. the hoes, bro. I make them girls get down on the flow, make their periods come early when I put this nine on the hoe. 
this <laughs> this verse is legit nasty in the worst way possible. <laughs> Hearing Zero rap like this, it it hurts honestly. I, I ain't never heard one of my favorite rappers say something this uncomfortable, <laughs> and the rapper thought they was killing it. I know I'm gonna get that pussy, so I'm gonna thank you in advance. I'm a guy in the college, just roll G B Y N, take off your pants. <laughs> Zero. I, I'm no longer dog. excited to hear that you have a song with somebody. The next time somebody tells me, it, it don't matter who the artist is. The next time somebody tells me, <laughs> hey, this person got a song with Zero, I'm gonna be like, so nigga. <laughs> Bro. Bro. You work with vocals. I'm sure how to say tons of times. Hey, it's, hey, a oh, it's called Xbox. It's like how... <laughs> Who is this? Right. I'm telling y'all right now, I don't know who this nigga is. <laughs> Kados, Kados, I don't know how to say it. I don't Dude. know where this boy is from. Nothing. How I found this song was when I was giving Cola Ray's music a chance. I listened to her music <laughs> in chronological order, starting with 2018's Everything's Cozy. I listened to a lot of her features too, and one feature that I came across specifically. The dude whose song it is was so bad that it took me a while to get the Cola Ray's verse. Because Buddy had the hook and the first verse on his song Games, and this dude's rap skills are so booty that I couldn't wait to tell y'all about this song. Games by Kados is talking about liking a girl who he thinks is playing games with him. He's shown her that he's interested, but no matter how many times he shoot his shot, she's just not getting with him. So he's just telling her like, yo, you playing games, man, what's up? The hook of this song, although it's catchy, this line sounds like a really, really lame joke. I'ma get you an Xbox because you be playing them games, baby. I'ma get you a PlayStation because you be playing them games, baby. That's so generic. This is so corny. Girl, you've been playing games. I'ma have to give you an Xbox. Girl, I'ma have to get you so a she PlayStation can play more how many games? games you've been playing. Like, bro, you scaring the hoes too. These lame ass puns isn't going to make her talk to you. Yeah. But bro. when it gets into the verse, I lost all hope for this dude. <laughs> he rap so elementary and basic. Every single one of y'all that's watching this video she can boy. come up with bars better than this. She wanna kick it with me. You can leave me, you don't gotta cheat. She eat it up like it's a feast. I beat it up like I'm a beast. She always think about me. Stay on the top like a toupee. I ain't playing no games when I say that I'm balling like I'm playing 2K. Even back in 2018, balling like I'm playing 2K lines were outrageously played out. Yeah. Like, he can't be serious. This song had to have been a parody or something. She playing games like Nintendo. I'm trying to pop like a pimple. Not everybody needs to be a rapper, man. Yeah. Damn, trade school is always an option. Like I said, he was able to make the hook catchy. I'll give him that. I'm going to get you a next boss because you be playing them games, baby. But the rest of his contribution outside of that is Cheeks. <laughs> I saw three comments in a row of people hoeing this song in the comments section. That's funny. Talking about, this ain't it. Oh, God. This song is trash. I will be very, 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 very surprised if Cola Ray even still talks to this dude. Yeah. Her ass went on to be somebody way bigger than what yeah. she was here. He caught Cola Ray in the super early stages of her uh -huh. year when she was just trying to do something strange for a piece of change. <laughs> Not so strange. Oh man, this was a very interesting one, man. I like the like his commentary on these videos. No, nah, for man. sure, man. This is definitely dope. Gonna go ahead and give the homie a like there. Let us know this if y'all agree with some of the the tracks, because um, you know we know every music is subjective, so. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah, can, sure. may have a difference of opinion. So that's why it's dope to be able to rock out to something. And it's cool that you can have your own playlist with what you like. And if somebody else doesn't like it, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's just not for them. But Gosh. when the song is whack to someone, it's whack to them. It's, it don't matter yeah, how bro, much you try to decorate it. Doo doo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to buy you an Xbox because you be playing games. I'm going to buy you a I'm PlayStation because you be playing games. I'm going to buy, I'm you, buy you a though. PC. <laughs> <laughs> just keep naming stuff, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get you another cell phone and download some games. Could you be playing I'm gonna games? Get you a Wii so you can play some more games. <laughs> I'm gonna let you stream so I can watch you play your games. Play some games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> that shit is wild, man. That's super oh wild. Oh my god, bro. But yeah, yeah man. But it's that basic, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, if y'all enjoyed it, make sure you run up the like, subscribe, and let us know what else you want us to check out. But keep on supporting us, man, as usual. Continue to For spread sure. love, be love. We catch y'all in the next <laughs> one, man. Peace out. All right.